at DSA 2024 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and we're now on the booth of uh, British company SCA, who is showcasing for the very first time a scale model of their new trainable decoy launcher known as Ancelia. Uh, the big news is that the company recently uh, won a UK MOD award to provide a number of these systems to the Royal Navy. Sir, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Yeah. Good, thank you. So can you please uh, tell us more about this uh, recent uh, contract award to SCA for Ancilia? Yes, absolutely. So Ancilia is a brand new product. It was launched at DSCI in, uh, in uh, 2023. And we've recently run a competition with the Royal Navy about two months ago uh, for three classes of ships and to be delivered over the next several years. Uh, and that competition was against some very demanding requirements that the Royal Navy uh, I'd come up with in response to some very detailed analysis that the UK authorities had done on the current naval threat, particularly ballistic missiles and multiple salvos of conventional missiles and how you might address those. And the, the basic conclusion was that fixed decoy launchers, whilst they still have a place, can't address all the threats simultaneously and enough speed. So uh, we've developed this on our own funding. So this is a privately funded product developed by, by SEA. And the main goals really were to create a, a decoy launcher that could uh, launch any NATO standard round, 130mm round, and also to fit in a relatively small footprint. So compared to the competitive systems, it is generally lighter, smaller, and in, in a more compact footprint. And it can fire any one of the uh, available rounds from multiple manufacturers. And the key thing really is that it's it's designed to, to move and stop very quickly, and that's one of the, the challenges. And also that it's designed to go from a very low uh, angle of attack to, to 90 degrees, and also sort of to do a, a sort of 360 degree coverage. So with maybe two of these launchers on, on, on a vessel, you can have complete protection with, uh, with 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 two of them, and and against those threats really. So. The ability to go up to 190 degrees, uh, that's pretty unique for a decoy launcher. Is there a specific reason behind it? Uh, I think because um, obviously this is designed uh, to be uh, you know, available in, in the f for future systems as well. There's decoy launchers being developed by various manufacturers for loitering, uh, radio frequency and other types of decoys. So, so this is designed really to be able to you know, create maximum uh, protection for the vessel to get the decoys as far above the vessel as possible. And uh, so we are here in Malaysia, uh, I believe, so the reason you're showcasing it here at the, out, uh, the trade show outside of the UK is that it, uh, you can export it to uh, UK partners. Yes, I mean, we've got full support from that. We were actually on the UK, um, the UK stand here from the UK government. Uh, got a lot of support from the UK government. Um, we're already, uh, you know, we already supply one system onto the uh, uh, Malaysian Navy, Royal Malaysian Navy uh, LCS program, the torpedo launchers. Obviously, you know we're very, uh, you know, very keen to convince them of the need and the benefit of this system, and other other navies in the region. We're, you know, we're using DSA as, as an opportunity to talk to multiple navies across the region about this capability and also, you know, some of our other capabilities. And uh, can you mention, uh, as my last question, uh, which are the three classes of ships uh, selected for this system and when will you deliver the first uh, set? Yeah, the, the three classes of ship, and, and this was in a, in a MOD announcement, so it's public domain information, it's on the Type 31, 26 and 45. The exact timing of which vessels and, and over which time frame is, is, is not really for public disclosure, but, um, but those three vessels were, you know, were, were part of the announcement. So. Very well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much.